What's up guys? Today we got a pretty cool little video that I want to share with you guys. We're going to be testing old school versus new school to see which one actually absorbs better. The old commonly known as oil dry, the safety absorbent versus the new super clean floor absorbent. Two totally different compounds and this one claims to soak up four times as much as this one. So let's put them to the test and see which one works better and we'll be looking at the price comparison between both of them. So let's dive into this thing. All right, guys, like I mentioned in the intro today, we're going to be looking at the differences between floor absorbents. Normally we do tool reviews and stuff like that, but obviously if you work in the shop, you're going to need a way to clean up the floor because you're going to have oil, transmission fluid, rear end fluid, coolant, just water, whatever. Um, and kind of what brought this test on is here we've had this ice storm and we're tracking in a lot of water in and out of the shop. So I thought, hey, why not test these two? It'll be a perfect time to take a look at them. So here we are. We've got the old school, commonly known as oil dry. This is safety absorb. It is a 40 pound bag, $6.49 from Tractor Supply. Super cheap, super affordable, and it's been around forever. On the other hand, we have the new super clean floor absorbent. It is a three pound container and it is $9.59 at Ace Hardware. Now, before we start this test, I will say that Super Clean did send me this to try out and do a video on. So this is the first time we've tested it. We've played with it a little bit and it seems to work pretty well. It's kind of an odd compound compared to the regular oil dry and we'll take a look at that in just a second. But they did send it to me to try out. So here we are, we're gonna put it to the test against the tried and true oil dry to see which one works better. There's quite a cost difference between the two from $6.49 to $9.59. So that's gonna have to be for you to decide, but I will say it's a whole lot easier to move around this one than it is the 40 pound bag. But it works really well and we'll put them to the test today head to head and we'll show you guys the differences of them. So what we have here is three clear cups. Um, obviously the oil dry, we've all seen that hundreds of times we have the super clean and two cups. So what I've done is filled each one of them up to the bottom line that's on the cups. There's a little groove there. Everybody got the same amount. And we're gonna do one to one with water. We're gonna do two to one with water since this is supposed to absorb more. And we're gonna do one to one with oil dry. All right, so we're gonna start with the super clean one to one, we're just gonna pour the same amount of water as they are oil dry. And we're gonna leave that setting for 10 minutes. We're gonna do the one to one oil dry next. And we're going to do two parts water to one part super clean. And this one one thing you will notice, I'm sure the camera probably picked it up, oil dry does have a large amount of dust that comes off of it when you pitch it down and all that. The super clean doesn't. It's kind of like the old stuff that you used in middle school when little Timmy would throw up in the hallway, the janitor come out there with that pink sawdust looking stuff. That's kind of what super clean reminds me of. I'll put some pictures up here and that way you can kind of see the difference of them. But like I say, this is a three pound bag or jug and it's supposed to be four times the absorbency with what's inside it versus this so we'll see and i'm sure that's probably weight to weight ratio they really wasn't clear in that but at the end of this we'll definitely know so we're going to give this 10 minutes and then we're going to come back and we're going to look at it and then we're going to dump it out on a cookie sheet and kind of see how much water is left remaining all right guys so it's been 10 minutes and we're going to look at our results now and kind of see how it is then I'll get the camera set up and we'll dump them all out where we can see how much residual oils left in them or waters left in them. So let's look here, the super clean one to one, as you can see, it's completely solid. It soaked it all up. The two to one, no liquid showing, is solid. 
and the regular oil dry. It's got a lot of water in it. So now we'll move the cameras, we'll get it set up, we'll dump these out. And since Super Clean's obviously done what they stated and absorbing a whole lot more, we're gonna try a three to one test and we'll run that when we get these dumped out and see if it can handle three to one. So let me get this camera set up and we'll dump it out and see what it looks like. All right, so we've got our cookie sheet set up here. So we'll dump these out and that way you guys can take a look at them and then we'll try the three to one because I'm highly impressed of how it's done with two to one ratio. So let's go. We'll start with the regular old oil dry. You can see a lot of water come out of that. We'll do the one to one next. No liquid came out, it was all solid. And the two to one. Same thing, it's all solid. So now we'll try doing it three to one and see how it works. Who knows? So let's take a look. All right, so here we have one part of super clean floor absorbent. We've got three parts of water and we're going to mix it in there. Be one part. Two parts. And three parts. Now I highly doubt that it can do three to one ratio. That's asking a lot. But as you've seen here, it did extremely well with the two to one. Like there was less water come out of the two to one mixture than there was one to one with oil dry. So who knows? We'll give it 10 minutes. We'll come back, we'll dump it out. We'll see how it does. So let's go. All right guys, so it's been 10 minutes and the three to one has been sitting. And you can see it's still kind of runny. Um, it actually looks better than the one-to-one -one oil dry mixture that we did. So let me get the cameras moved and we will dump it out and see how it does. So let me get these cameras moved real quick. All right, so here we go. Let's dump it out and see what it looks like. You can see it's quite a bit runny. It's pretty close to where the one-to-one -one oil dry mixture was. It's not a whole lot of difference, but it's definitely safe to say that the super clean outperformed the traditional oil dry or safety absorbent or whatever you want to call it, the old school clay type floor dry absorbent. So anyway, you know, it's kind of up to you. This is a really nice container super easy to move around. And if you've ever had to go to the park store and pick up oil dry, you know it's kind of a pain in the butt to grab two or three bags. And one of these will do about what a normal bag would do, obviously. So that's my video today, guys. Check out this super clean floor absorbent if you're looking for an easier to maneuver different type of oil dry that's gonna work a little bit better than your standard stuff. But that's my video. Like always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's free. You never know what you're going to see on this channel. You guys have a great week and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.